in our current 21st century lives. It's not easy. There is always something coming up that we need to prepare for or anticipate. And our lives are so well documented that it's never been easier to get lost in the past. In this video, I share with you four strategies to help you be more present in the moment. Let's go. Hi guys, I hope you're doing great today. If this is your first time on this channel, welcome. This channel is all about personal development. Every week I'm here to serve you with tips and strategies to become the best version of yourself so you can achieve your dreams and live an awesome life. So consider subscribing if you like these kinds of videos below and hit the bell button so you get a notification every time I post a new video. Being present in the moment or the here and now means that you are aware and mindful of what is happening at this very moment without being distracted by ruminations on the past or worries about the future, but centered in the here and now. The present moment is the only thing where there is no time. It is the point between past and future. It is always there. And it is the only point we can access in time. Everything that happens, happens in the present moment. Everything that ever happens and will ever happen can only happen in the present moment. It is impossible for anything to exist outside of it. Being present in the moment is the key to staying healthy and happy. It helps you fight anxiety cut down on worrying and rumination and keeps you grounded and connected to yourself and everything around you. Here are four strategies to help you be more present in the moment. Do a mindful body scan. This simple exercise is a great way to get yourself in a mindful mood and get in touch with your body. Doing this in the morning can also help you get your day off to a good start. While sitting or lying down on your bed, take a few deep, mindful breaths. Notice the way your breath enters and exits your lungs. Starting with your toes, Focus your attention on one part of your body at a time. Pay attention to how that area is feeling and notice any sensations that you are experiencing. After a few moments of focused attention, move up to the next part of your body. This is not only a good method for putting you in a mindful state right off the bat, it can also help you notice when your body is feeling differently than normal. You might catch up an injury or illness that you wouldn't normally notice just by taking a few minutes each morning to scan your body. Write in a journal. Another good exercise that can help you set the right mindful tone for the day is to write in your journal. Early in the morning, before you have headed off to work, or school, or started checking things off your long to-do list, take a few minutes to pull out your journal or a notebook and make an entry. You can do a new page each day and simply write however much you feel like writing. Taking just a few minutes to write down any mindless chatter in your head or lock any particularly insightful dreams can clear your head and help you start your day off in a mindful state. There is no wrong way to journal. It's about writing anything and everything that crosses your mind. And they are for your eyes only. Face your pain. If something is bothering you, move toward it rather than away from it. We all have pain in our lives, whether it's the ex we still long for 
or the sudden wave of anxiety when we get up to give a speech. If you let them, they can distract you from the enjoyment of life. Paradoxically, the obvious response of focusing on the problem in order to combat and overcome it often makes it worse. The mind's natural tendency when faced with pain is to attempt to avoid it by trying to resist unpleasant thoughts, feelings and sensations. When we lose a love, for instance, we fight our feelings of heartbreak. But in many cases, negative feelings and situations can't be avoided, and resisting them only magnifies the pain. The problem is, we have not just primary emotions, but also secondary ones, emotions about other emotions. We get stressed out and then think, I wish I weren't so stressed out. The primary emotion is stress over your workload. The secondary emotion is feeling, I hate being stressed. It doesn't have to be this way. The solution is acceptance, letting the emotion be there. That is, being open to the way things are in each moment without trying to manipulate or change the experience, without judging it, clinging to it or pushing it away. It's very simple. The present moment can only be as it is. Trying to change it only frustrates and exhausts you. Acceptance relieves you of this needless extra suffering. Perform random acts of kindness. Those selfless acts that help others, help you live for the moment of making others smile and making you smile as well. Random acts of kindness are just that. Random. They are spontaneous, in the moment, and a great addition to your daily life. The next time you see that person walking in the rain, offer them your umbrella. That stranded motorist, call for help. The elderly lady struggling with her groceries, carry them for her. One of the easiest lessons for how to live in the moment is to do something for someone else without expecting anything in return. It not only helps you live in the moment, but improves that moment for you and someone else. This is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, you can leave them in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it and share it with your friends and family. And please subscribe to my channel. Join this amazing community. See you on the next one.